Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Friday. It's fun stuff Friday. So we've got a wonderful, wonderful pencil sharpener here. And this is the Deli Sweet Memories uh, pencil sharpener. It looks like a little camera. It's really cool. Let's take it out of the package here. It does come in a little plastic package. Uh, when you get it, the little arm that you crank, the crank arm, is not attached. You have to attach it. It's not hard. I did attach it and I have been using it um, just to compare these two. Now, as you all know, I strongly endorse the Doll uh, 133 pencil sharpener. It sharpens everything and I absolutely love my Doll pencil sharpener. And somebody mentioned to me that Deli had one out and I have just been extremely impressed with the Deli products. So I thought, okay, well, let's give it a try and we'll see if it will sharpen uh, all the pencils we need it to sharpen. So I have been playing with it. I have been using it. Um, and so far I haven't had any problems with it sharpening anything that the doll sharpens. So we're going to sharpen a couple of different pencils from a def couple of different sets. Uh, the first one is the Starjoy set. And then we're going to sharpen, oh dear, what did I, I put them away, <laughs> silly me. Uh, we're going to sharpen um, some of the triangle pencils and we're going to also sharpen some of the square pencils. So if you'll just give me one second here while I pull those triangle pencils back out because for some reason I put them away trying to clean up my desk. I sh really shouldn't clean up my desk. <laughs> so we've got the deli, which is a good thing uh, to be using the deli sharpener on. So we've got the Starjoy, which is also a part of uh, the deli company, as well as we're going to use them on our square root funers. And we'll see if they, they cover pretty much everything. Um, another thing that I want to try them on because it, it is a chunky, chunky pencil is the, um, where are they? I think they're in here. Yeah, the uh, Derwent colored pencils because they are a thicker pencil um, than most standard pencils. So we'll try it on those as well. So I'm just going to pull out a couple of the square, one of the square brute funers, preferably one that I haven't um, sharpened too much so that you can see it, whether it sharpens really well or not. So we've got this one here, number 67. As you can see, it has not been sharpened. So we'll sharpen that one. And we will grab one of the chunky monkeys here. So we're going to grab that one's not sharp. And this is number 530 of the Derwent Color Soft. And of course we'll, we'll sharpen one of the triangles as well. So, as you already know, um, this pencil sharpener here, the Deli, or Doll, sorry, uh, the Doll will sharpen all of these pencils. Um, I have sharpened every single one of these pencils with this pencil sharpener before. So we're going to try and make sure that it is possible to sharpen all of these pencils to a wonderful fine point as well as a blunt point. So let's start with our Chunky Monkey and we're going to do it on a blunt point to start with. It goes in there just fine. It turns nice and easy. I don't see any marring on the wood and it has sharpened it to a blunt point. 
Now let's dial it out. So it does the same thing as the other sharpener. Um, on the back it has the little dial that you turn to increase the point of the pencil. So let's point it, put it all the way out and we'll sharpen. We'll put three cranks. And with three cranks it sharpens really, 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 really sharp. I'm going to switch you over to the close-up camera here so that you can see a little bit better. So that sharpened that to a very fine point. And that's the thick, chunky uh, color soft from Derwent. Now we've got the square brute funer here. And this is a square pencil. And I'm going to turn this back down to I'm going to switch you over to both cameras so that you can see what I'm doing on both ends of it. So I've turned this back down to a completely blunt point. And we'll put it in here and we'll turn it until it says that it's all done. And it has sharpened it quite nicely into a blunt point. Now let's give it a little bit more juice here. I don't want to sharpen it too much. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Give it a couple of cranks and it comes up to a nicer point. So now let's give it all the all the juice. Turn it all the way up. And once again, this is a square pencil. And we're just going to give it a couple of cranks. And as you can see, just with three crank, two or three little cranks, it is completely sharp. Nice fine point. Same as the Derwent. Nice fine point. Now let's try a triangle pencil. And then we'll take a look at the regular round pencil because we know that that's just going to sharpen that. So. Um, I think I have sharpened all of these at one point because, yeah, they're cute as buttons. So this has uh, already been sharpened once before. And as you can see, it's been dulled down a bit. So I'm going to be mean and break that point. So as you can see, that point has been broken. And we're going to put it down to a dull point. And put that right down to a dull point. And this is a triangle pencil. And as you can see, it sharpened quite nicely into a dull point. And then we're going to crank it up a bit and give it three little cranks. Now this is all the way open. And we're going to just give it two or three cranks. One, two, three. And as you can see with three little cranks, it is nice and sharp. And that is a triangular pencil. As you can see, it's the absolutely cutesy little color emotions deli triangle pencils. So as you can see with all three of those, the square, the chunky round and the triangle pencils, it did very, very nicely. So let's put the triangle pencil back in its box and I'll put the other two back away in a bit. Now, now for the fun part. These have not been sharpened. They're the exact same. I'll put them over here so you can see them a little bit better. They are the exact same length. They are the exact same sharpness. And we're going to sharpen on the exact same setting all the way out on both um, pencil sharpeners and see how much of the pencil it eats to get that sharpness. So we'll, we'll use the dark one, this one here, 
for the deli and this one here for the doll. So let's start with the doll since it's closer. So you do the same thing. You pull out the, the front of the tab there. And I'll move this back a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing in the other camera. And we'll put this here so you can see where that camera is. <laughs> so you do the same thing. You press the little button on the side. You put the pencil in. You let go of that little button. You do whatever you need to do to hold the pencil sharpener down and you turn the crank. That's good enough. And as you can see it is nice and sharp. So that is the doll that sharpened that one. I've got paint under my nail. <laughs> Just noticed that. Now for the deli. Pull out the front, just the same as the doll. You put the pencil in, make sure that you push the little button. Turn the crank. And both are very, very sharp. And as you can see, I'm going to put something hard up at the end of this so that we know that it's completely even. that they are exactly, oops, of course I screw it up by moving it. I'll show you that they're the exact same area on the barrel. So I've got them lined up so that those points are the same, like that. But if you see down here where the tips of the ends of the pencil are, this one here, which was done with the doll, is longer than this one here. So the deli does seem to sharpen off a little bit more of the pencil than the doll, but both will sharpen to a beautiful point and both sharpen the square pencils, they sharpen the triangle pencils, they sharpen the chunky pencils, and they sharpen the round pencils. Now I have one more uh, pencil that I want to see if it will sharpen, and that is the really, really chunky pencil, which is the um, uh, Create a Color colored pencil. Now this is a very, very chunky pencil. You will see when it goes up against any of the other colored pencils how chunky it is. So I'm going to grab one that isn't very sharpened. And as you can see, comparatively, it's twice the height. Like I can put both of these up against this one and get almost the same height. So let's see if it'll sharpen this big bad boy. Now I do want to put this only at a medium sharpness, so I'm going to turn it in to about halfway. Pull out the front. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Ooh. It goes in. And give it a couple of cranks. Now this is tighter than it is on the dowel, but it did sharpen this pencil. It does go in and it does turn and it does sharpen, which is phenomenal. Now I'm going to switch you back over to the main camera itself because I'm going to go through the different features and the different ways that this is used. Well, the different things, the differences between the two basically. So both are a hand crank sharpener. This one is a little bit taller, a little bit better weighted. This one has an entire um, pad on the bottom, a non-skid pad that covers the entire bottom of that sharpener. Where this one, the non-skid pad is just four little dots 
on it. This one here can be mounted to your desk. This one cannot. Um, this one does come with a special little crank uh, clamp that you can put on your desk. Um, both have the little dial in the back that uh, you turn to make the to get a sharper or a blunter pencil. Um, this one here, the little um, catcher here cannot be seen when you open this part. So as you can see down here, you can't see inside of that catcher. However, with this one, this is the little catcher, you can see right inside of that catcher. The only thing that um, worries me about that when I am sharpening and it's really full is getting sharpening bits on my desk. Other than that, it doesn't bother me at all. Both have this little thing here that locks in place until it's sharpened and it slowly moves inwards. Both have this little dial on the back. You can see the one that I'm turning. And what that does is that slides your sharpener right out so that you can clean it, so that you can get any stuck pieces out, so that if you break a pencil off and it gets jammed in there, it's going to be able to get out. Both go in the same way. You stick it in there, line up the little, little notches, and then turn it until it's tight. Try not to turn it too tight, otherwise you won't be able to get it undone. Like this one here. I turned it too tight when I first put it together and I couldn't get it out. This one here is a bit shorter. It has a longer neck to it and it does seem to have um, a little bit more give in this area. So let's put those both on the table here and take a look at them. So both are about the same. Let's see. Yeah, maybe they are exactly the same. So both have the exact same internal workings. This one's just dirty because I used it. Let's see if I can find my brush and brush it off. There it is. I used a red pencil in it and it just picked it all up. <laughs> and you can clean these. You can just brush them right out and get rid of all of the excess. And this part here turns your, your blade. Now in the doll, the blade is replaceable. I do not know if it is replaceable in the deli and it doesn't say anything in the packaging whether or not it can be replaced. Um, the packaging is mostly in Chinese however it does have or Asian of some sort. It says made in China so I assume Chinese. Uh, it does have picture graphs on how to move things around and get things to work and an English section inside. So if you're looking at it from the bottom, you're going to see the Chinese. If you pull it out, you will see the English. So let's see if it says anything about being replaceable or how to replace it or where to replace it. And it does not. It doesn't say whether or not it's replaceable or how to replace it. It just goes through how to use it and how to get um, blocked things out of the blade. So now this one here is this one? No. This one here is this one. <laughs> no. Oh dear. I think it's this one. And obviously they're interchangeable. <laughs> Let's 
Um, so if you uh, find out any way of replacing the deli blade, you can, or the doll blade, you can probably replace the deli blade with the same thing. To me, the mechanism and the mechanics of both pencil sharpeners are exactly the same. This one here has gone up to over $20. This one here is less than 10. So if I were you, um, you know, when I first bought my deli, it was $10.99, or $10 $11. Now it's up over $20 because there are so many colorists out there buying them. The more people buy them, the higher the price gets. That's just the way that economics goes. You know, supply and demand. The more the me demand, the higher the price goes up. So if you, uh, want a good crank sharpener but don't want to pay the price for this one buy this one it is really really cute it does the job very well it has a couple of features that I like better than the doll one of which is the fact that when I open this I'm not seeing all of the um, sharpenings outright you know falling out right here um, you know, if it's the, the doll, that's what you see. With the deli, you don't see that. So if even if you tip it forward while you're sharpening, you're not going to get those shavings on your desk. Where if you did that with the doll, you would get the shavings on your desk. To me, both are a fantastic deal. Both are a wonderful, wonderful pencil sharpener. Um, this one does sharpen those pencils a little bit shorter, so it takes a little bit more off the pencil than the doll does. Other than that, they're pretty much the same. And with that, I would like to say thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will leave links to both the doll and the uh, deli pencil sharpeners in the uh, about section below or the description below the video uh, as well as anything else that uh, I find pertinent to this video. I will let you know that um, every link that I put in a description is an affiliate link. Uh, with an affiliate link, it does pay me a couple of pennies every time you click on a link and purchase something from it. So if you click on the link and you buy this wonderful, wonderful pencil sharpener, it will give me a couple of pennies to put towards the, um, the channel um, so that I can do giveaways and prizes and things like that. Um, of course like comment and subscribe please hit the like button it does let me know um, what kind of things you enjoy seeing and what uh, kind of things I should be putting out in the future um, leave me a comment let me know what you think about hand crank sharpeners and that sort of thing I do understand that a lot of people prefer the little tiny hand turned ones unfortunately I can't use them and I found that these don't eat up as much of the pencil as an electric sharpener does and it is simpler for me to use. Um, so just so that you all understand that this is a personal preference and a personal um, something that I find is easier for me to use without breaking pencil leads. Um, just trying to think and make sure that I have everything covered for y'all. Uh, of course, if you want to join us over on Facebook, we do have a Facebook group. Um, so pe definitely uh, join us over there. Just fill out the application form. There's a few little questions that we ask that you fill out. The reason for the questions, of course, is to ensure the safety and security of our members so that they're not getting spammed, scammed, or you know taken advantage of. So please make sure that you fill out those application questions. Last but not least whatsoever, of course, is always remember to relax, color, and stay safe. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.